guys, what's up? Welcome back to another reaction again. So for only people, I already know that song. Why do I already know that song? Because I love Bollywood. Why do I love Bollywood? No one cares. So okay, today we're gonna watch the song Char Kadam from the movie PK. And yeah, this is also another kind of tribute to Sushant Singh Rajput. We all know what happened. Well, actually not really. <laughs> there were so many rumors and um, I'm also always up to date about what is happening about his case because I'm I'm still so shocked about it. But to be honest, now after like, I don't know, it's now a week ago. I don't know when you'll see this video. Um, now I'm, I'm feeling a bit better, but still the shock was very big for me at the beginning I still can't believe that he isn't there because in, in these videos he just seems so, especially in, in these songs, he seems so so alive oh my god that's that's a bad word of course he's alive but <laughs> yeah i mean you just can't believe that he committed suicide of course there are lots of people who think that he's murdered and i have to be honest i am i still i'm not sure if, if it's really a suicide case um but i don't want to speculate too much about it i just think there's more to it than it seems like definitely but okay we we'll talk about this more detail later on <laughs> And let's look into the song again. I just really love the song. In general, PK was a movie that really surprised me. I remember when I watched it back then. I actually didn't really want to watch it because I, I yeah, I just wasn't really interested. I was so surprised by the movie and I actually cried so hard in the end. <laughs> um, so yeah, and the song, oh, the song is so great. The song is so magical. So yeah, let's watch. Do you think she got lip fillers? I can't believe he isn't there anymore. Bin puche me ranamor pata rasmo ko rakhke pare char kadam bas char kadam chal do na saath mere bin kuch kahe bin kuch sune haathon me haath liye. Now it gets more energetic and I love it. He looked so cute in PK. Raho me tumko jo dhup sataye, chaav bicha denge hum. Andhere daraye to jaakar falak pe chaam saja denge hum. He was so adorable in I live for this. Oh 
Oh yeah, this old dude. <laughs> How he's running away? Like no one is running away like this. Seriously though. hand and she's like mm, give it to me <laughs> I really love it when they do that in movies when when there's like the specific person and in the beginning you don't think this person is important for the story and he just had this little small part in the movie but I just love it when when this person who you think isn't important comes into another scene then this person has like a, a purpose in the movie and is useful and then you're like oh my god I, I just always love that when they do that in movies to be honest like in the middle of the song I was uh, feeling a bit emotional again I remember when I woke up to the news that he isn't there and what that was just so unexpected and it's such a shock for me and I, I just didn't know how to feel I was so overwhelmed at first I thought this would be fake news so and then in the end of the day I was watching his songs again also this song this is like my most favorite um, songs with Sushant um, in it um, I mean in general I just love the songs from Narapta so because in PK he isn't the main main character but this song is like one of my most favorite ones where he is in it the song just always made me smile by the music by the atmosphere it creates um, the singers oh, the singers are so awesome for this always a song with Sean in it is always so perfect and um, also Shreya's part in it was so beautiful. These la 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 notes, oh, I live for them. I, I love them in this. Yeah, and then also this makes me so happy because of the video. Like the video just, oh, it, it just, it feels like when you're watching this video, it feels like you're in love yourself. And even if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, um, you still feel like you are in love. <laughs> this was one of those songs I watched um, again when, when I heard of the terrible news. And I was, I, I couldn't even enjoy the song, even though the song is a really happy song, it always made me smile. But at first, when I watched it again, when I heard the news, I, I cried throughout the whole song. I just couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. And because you see him so happy, and his acting always seemed so natural, and especially in PK. Oh, he was so adorable. I loved him in PK. Even though he he wasn't a main character, he still, of course, was important for the movie. And for the small screen space he had in the movie, he was so cute and adorable in it. And um, oh my god, I, I just love the whole concept of the movie um, of course the movie got lots of hate um, because of course lots of people are really religious in India I just always think that um, religion is also a sensible topic to talk about and I often avoid that too you can belong to any religion you want to um, just just do your thing and don't force other people that uh, your religion. Of course, everyone thinks their religion is the best, and that's fine. But don't spread hate over other religions. So let's look into the comment section. Yes, and I wanted to point that out too, but I didn't want to speak too much throughout the beginning of this video. When he's going away in the beginning of the song, it really hurts now. Yes, it just seems so real now. The scene of the beginning. It's like really when he's walking away, then he's turning around again and, and is giving us this, uh, this smile, this sad smile. And it just seems so real now. This is how he really left us. <sighs> I didn't want to say it in the beginning because otherwise I would have cried too. It just seems so, so real. His death seems like a personal loss. And I really have to agree. I've never been... Um, a die-hard fan of his and someone else also says something to that I regret when he was alive even I didn't notice him I never watched his movies except PK and Emma Stoney uh, yeah I watched PK, Emma Stoney I watched Kidnat I watched Rapta 
just these four movies and now after he died I watched uh, Shuk Desi Romance, I watched Drive, I actually want to watch all his other movies like there's this other one, this detective, I don't know what, oh yeah Kaipuche, that was his, his first movie I think, um, I kind of watched it, that was also before, before he left us. Uh, that's yeah. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that movie. It, it was that movie you kind of don't pay attention to too much when you're watching it. Yeah, and this person really has written a lot about him. I don't want to read out everything, but it, that also really makes me emotional. But I just have to agree with, with this person um, because I also never really. Um, I, I appreciate I appreciated him. I also thought that he um, has good, really good acting skills, really natural acting skills, and uh, he was an amazing dancer. I always saw that he was really amazing in dancing. I don't know. I just maybe it was because of his movie, of the movies he did, that I never really what uh, was so into him and was so interested of, of what he's doing and what kind of a person he is. I also never really watched his interviews, even though he, he always seemed like a humble person, but I just never was that interested. And um, lots of people also blame this on nepotism, um, that yeah, because of Kata Joha, because all, all of these godfathers, um, that there was no one behind him to, to push him. And of course it is nice to, to have someone like this to support you, especially in the film industry. But I also think um, he ha was so talented, he would have um, made it big on his own. And I think when you do it on your own, um, you also get more love for it. I just have this feeling. I, I don't want to say that it's bad to have a godfather or something like that in Bollywood, for example. But if you do it your, yourself um, and earn it yourself, achieve it yourself, then also people appreciate it way more um, than when you have like a big public figure behind you to support you. I always thought that he had a bright future ahead, but um, it just takes time. And he of course was in the industry for, for lots of years now, but um, sometimes it just needs time. I always think one day or another, you always make it, make it big um, when you work hard for it. And he really worked hard for it. Um, so I think one day or another, he would have been this really big star. His death really changed a lot now. And I don't think that people will forget about him. And I think his death really caused something it ignited something in, in Bollywood. It's also for the audience. Um, lots of people just blame this. That's what I actually wanted to say. I always talk so off topic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> lots of people just blame this on nepotism, star kids and everything. Maybe they have some kind of fault because they kind of knew him. They, they, the actors are like colleagues. So maybe they kind of are to blame just a little bit, I'd say, because they kind of knew him. They should have known him from, from other parties, also his co-actors from the movies. So maybe there is a little bit of blame for them, but not 100%. And they're also like casting directors. So those people are responsible to that. He lost lots of movies or lots of his movies got postponed. I wouldn't blame that 100% too. I just think that lots of people just put his career as his uh, as the only reason for for his suicide if it is if it really is a suicide in the focus. Um, so lots of people will say, yeah, his career, the, the star kids, nepotism, Karan Joha, everything is is responsible for his suicide. But we don't know what happened uh, on the other side, his personal life. We also know that he really missed his mother a lot. He lost her when he was like 18, I think, or 17, around that time. And even after so many years, he still misses her. Uh, missed her. I just think there are so many other different reasons like that. Maybe he just needed more love from from his family, from his friends. So I wouldn't just blame it on his his career and people attached to that that um, he took this step um, to to commit suicide, if it really is the case. 
So yeah guys, you can tell me your honest opinion about that, what do you think about it. Please don't spread any hate in the comments, please don't uh, blame um, the actors, uh, so mostly star kids. Um, I mean he was also in contact with lots of other actors who aren't uh, star kids. Rajkumar, Rao, also female actors like Kriti Sanon and some others. So, Please don't blame them. I think they already feel so guilty and even though lots of other actors don't post about him anymore on social media, that doesn't mean that they totally forgot about him. I also think that we, we also have to spread more happiness. Um, Bollywood has always been like my happiness. So please don't spread any hate here in the comments. Um, you can tell your honest opinion but please stay polite and respect other people here. And that's it for this reaction. I really hope you liked it, even though it's it's it has a sad background. But um, I just think one day, if we all aren't upset anymore, then I think this song will make us smile again and also his other songs. So if you're new to my channel, then check out my other reactions. I actually do Bollywood reactions only because Bollywood is my life. Then if you haven't done it yet, then please follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. I post everything Bollywood related there and you can also find reactions on Instagram TV that you can't see on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Just a moment of course, I'm not forcing anyone and that's it. Hope to see you guys in another reaction again. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.